On the last episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, uh, can I go? I can't. It's too far. Oh, there you go. I had to click it beforehand. Awesome. Okay, cool. We did it. Yeah, so now Clementine's gonna be fucking kidnapped or some shit because Ben is fucking useless. Now more! And kill things. No TV. Oh, that's annoying. Good dolls. Creepy. They're creepy as shit, those fucking dolls. Who would fucking have those Might dolls? come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Yeah, we'll just get them. Like, we'll, we'll pop back afterwards, you know. It's not a problem. So what the fuck do I have to do now? It's like, there isn't a lot of things to do. Hopscotch thing. Uh... Hopscotch. Well, I mean, can't do hopscotch because he's fucked! <laughs> Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Team Lee. Uh... How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. Hmm. Interesting. Uh... So you're a cancer survivor. Like Vernon and the others. Yeah. I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Hilarious. Uh, anyway, um... I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Well, where the fuck is the guys from the medicine room? Let's go, let's go to the medicine room. That's it, Lee. Just uh, take your time. It's fine. It's not like, you know, they could be in trouble or there are fucking hordes of zombies behind that door or Molly is fucked off somewhere. That's not good. Shit. Oh, shit. This is bad. How the fuck do they get in here? Vernon must be trapped in there. That was probably bad. Please die. Okay. I think we got them all. We fucking rock! That was good. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? No, oh, the fuck. Yeah, so probably didn't. that's a oh. problem. Take a look. Oh, Looks like they were keeping sake. all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Uh... There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay, so, uh... Combination, maybe? I'll Somewhere? I'll time to rest later, I think. Yeah, you probably fucking will. I just meant you to look at the bed. I don't mean you to fucking sleep what in it, for fuck's sake. A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Hmm. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. It's just, just a fucking bunch of fucking nothing. There's literally nothing it's on that fucking some well. Some kind of medical file. Let's take it. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Well. It's got a number on it. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. 
Then out the door. What the hell happened here? This is really fucking weird. Uh, there's so much shit in What's here as well. On the floor? It's a sonogram. Oh, that's exciting. So, oh, let's put the uh, thing in the camera. Yeah. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Hi, Anna. How's it going? Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Fucking use the thing so I can see what you're doing. Fuck! Oh, damn it! That was a waste of fucking time, wasn't it? Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Brilliant. Absolutely fucking wonderful. Okay, I guess we're going out to the alleyway. Come on. I think there will be bodies out here now, because that'd be quite cool if there was. Yeah, oh no, yes there are, that's awesome. Okay, so the alleyway was this way. We'll probably get the key to that locker and the tape will be in the locker maybe. I reckon that's probably the, uh, the thing. Come on, let's do this, Lee. There was someone watching us out here last time for sure though, faux show. Uh... Can we go this way? No. Right. Brilliant. This is going to be bad, isn't it? We're going to find Molly sort of just kicking the shit out of that corpse here or something or not. Can we just get around? No, we can't get out. Oh shit, it's him! It's fucking him! No, dude. Hey, uh... Oh, a TV fell on him. That was quite cleverly done off shot, I guess, but... Why did I do this? Why am I here? Oh, it's, it's, it's him! That's him! It's the one that she fucking... ...owned. There you go. Let's have a look. What does he have? The other cassette. This might be just what we need. It What's better fucking this? be just what we need. Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Where's his locker? Shit. Time to go. Are we gonna be teleported back? Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, so that's that's clearly the combination to this fucking locker, the bloody locker, and there'll be something horrible tying us all in with each other. Logan, this must have been his locker. Yeah. Another tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Yeah, but one of them's gonna be him doing something horrible to uh, Molly. Betcha. I absolutely fucking betcha. Uh... A 
found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Okay, so I'll watch that one first, but I want to see what the other one is too. I'm just intrigued. This is something grim and horrible going to be. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. He's a fucking kite. And that's how the outbreak started. Okay, makes sense. I don't think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Uh Looks like the sick system these bastards cooked up to protect themselves wound up destroying them. Can't say I'll shed too many tears over it. I want to see the other tape quickly, though. This is really important. We're in business. Yeah. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. Yeah, fuck you, We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Oh, let's watch it. Come on. This is something to probably to do with Molly, considering what she was doing to that fucking corpse. Let's go. Let's see what's on the tape, I guess. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We Fuck. had a deal. Yes, uh, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, uh, she'll okay. die, or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. So they were having yeah. sex. That's the Crawford way, isn't it? They were having sex, so she could. Okay, it's not as. And I guess her sister died because of the medicine, the lack of medicine, and that's oh, why she was shit. pissed at him. Okay, I thought it was something maybe a bit worse, but still, that's um. I thought there was like something. Per oh, I guess it's a personal vendetta. Because of letting her sister die. Interesting. Interesting. Jesus Emily. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? What? I'm just kidding. Oh, thank fuck for that. Here you go. I don't trust her now. What's that? Nothing. It's a picture of her sister. Uh... You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Exactly. Are you really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. 
No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Uh, I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Fuckers. I can understand why she's really upset, I guess. Come on. It's okay. It's okay, mummy. It's okay. This is uh, all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? I'm sorry for what happened to your sister. But right now, I just want to get the job done and get back to the house. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of there. I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. It's the dude. It's the other dude. The other fucking dude. It's the other fucking dude. The axe is gone. The axe is gone. The axe is gone. Oh, Jesus! Chip! Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you you took the axe, you alone? fucking moron! No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, you fucking uh, moron. Ben? Where did you get that? You fucking you moron, man! It? it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Shit, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Ah, uh, this is hard. Thanks. Oh, I should. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Go and come! Go and come! Go and come! Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're coming. Uh, oh, shit. That ought to ben, hold you're fucking useless. Sir, but now how do we get out? <laughs> Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Uh, let's do this. Come on. This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell are you talking ben. about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh, sorry. Bad idea, dude. Kid, bad idea. Take the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I open the door. I let them in. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Oh, my God. Oh. Wait a minute. What are you saying? Oh, this is bad. It was me who made the, bad? the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... He's gonna grab a weapon. Ah. Uh. Kenny, man. I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole <laughs> thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Yes, get out of here, life. Come on. Sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Uh, Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Oh my god. Oh my god. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Uh. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. That means cutting you loose. I'm sorry, Clem. <laughs> what about the rest of us? Uh, Don't we get a second? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Damn 
right. Vernon, come on. Nice guy. 